Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kat, and for today, we are taking a look at the brand new Valentine's Day palette from Gourmand Girls, the C'est L'Amour palette. And I gotta say, like, the artwork on here is very, very nice. Uh, I know that it was a collab between Gourmand Girls and Doodles by the Bunny. If you're not familiar with Doodles by the Bunny, this is her Instagram. I have been following her for like literally years. It is so cool to finally see brands like linking up with her and letting her design their palettes because she is so talented and it's just so deserved. So I'm really, really excited to see the Gourmand Girls partnered up with Doodles. And so we're gonna take a look at this puppy and. And full disclosure, this was sent to me in PR. And I do also have a code, so if you're wanting to try the palette out, you can save 10% if you use the code JACKED. It's not an affiliate code, I don't get anything from it, but it does save you guys 10% if you're wanting to give any of the products from Gourmand Girls a go. So, let's jump right into this guy. And this is the color story. Look at that, it is a beautiful 12 pan palette. Look at all of the nice little etching designs in the pans themselves. You've got a little Eiffel Tower there, the Gourmand Girls G, a diamond, like all kinds of cute stuff. So very, very excited about this guy. And I definitely think that of the Valentine's Day palette releases that I've seen so far for this year, there's only one other palette that I have found that has like the most versatility beyond this palette from Gourmand Girls because I want to say the Beauty Bay palette that they just came out with has like a huge array of colors for Valentine's Day, but it's also a 20 pan palette. And of the 12 pan palettes that I have seen or smaller, this is the most versatile you're going to get because you have tons of neutral shades tons of different variations on pinks and reds and two duochromes that are very very cool so i've already done three looks and so as we go through and swatch i'll have some of those pictures pop up so you guys can see just how varied the looks can be and then at the end we will do a look together that is going to be your quintessential just bam reds and pinks full on just all the valentine's day stuff so let's go ahead and jump into the swatches first so first up we have like probably Probably the lightest of all of the neutral shades. This is Creme de la Creme and you can definitely tell it is a super light tan shade on there. Almost blends perfectly into my skin. So it is, I would say, probably your best use of this guy would be either as a transition shade if you have like my skin tone or lighter or to blend it with some of the other shades to get a little bit lighter or darker variation on there. And that's part of why I like that they have a black shade in here too, as well as this lighter shade, because then you can really balance the colors out and kind of change them around however you want. Then next up we have Feminine, which is the first of the two duo chromes. And both of the duo chromes, I definitely want to say, are topper shades. They are very sheer upon initial application, but you can definitely build them up. So this is this guy, it goes from a nice kind of pinkish shade into a bluish purple. And so it is very, very pretty. But you can definitely see just how sheer it is. But this is the first look that I came up with. And that is essentially just a combination of noir to smoke out the back and then also having feminine on the front portion. And I just layered it up and you can see how beautiful it is as you just continue to layer it. It really builds up and it gives this beautiful purplish sheen to it. So really, really nice. Then we have rosé, which is another very light neutral shade, but this one is already leaning a little bit more to the pink side of things but definitely very, very soft consistency on there, very smooth, and so I really like the matte formula that they have in this palette. I mean, I really like Gourmand Girls matte shades just in general. I find that they're really, really pigmented, but for this particular palette, they are very soft. It's really nice. Then we have Rouge, which is your very red, just beat beat red look at that and so so pigmented immediately opaque just a really strong bright shade and then we come to one of my favorite matte shades in the palette this is soiree and it is a really nice kind of hot cocoa type brown shade just 
so beautiful and this definitely is a look that you could make where it's like a really nice kind of warm neutral look I mean I I love this shade and it blends beautifully with a lot of the other shades so the second look that I did actually included soiree on there as well as like quite a few different red shades and the noir black shade again and it was just a really vampy red look and then I also included one of their brighter pink shades that we're gonna be watching here in a minute that's a really nice pink metallic in the inner corner and it just added kind of that little bit of pop to it which I really really enjoyed. So we have the first of the true metallics and this is Passion and definitely an improvement on some of the metallics that I have used from Gourmand Girls in the past. I think that was one of the only things that I really had as a critique from the brand was that I felt like in some of the other previous palettes that I had gotten, the metallics performed a little bit more like closer to a satin rather than a metallic. And the metallics in this one are really nice, very pigmented, immediately opaque, and give that nice little bit of a shine on there. And so I really like where they took the formula in this palette for the metallics specifically. Now we're gonna get into that pink shade that I was talking about. This is Boudoir, and it is a beautiful hot pink metallic. And I mean, just look at that, look at it go. Oh, I love it. And if you layer, this guy on top of that, it's gonna bring out even more of that purple tint because of the blue undertones of the duochrome. And so layering these shades is probably the most fun that I had because they layer really nicely, they blend together beautifully. And so if you're wanting to mix the different colors together to create even more looks, you definitely can because the formula is really good for that. Next up, we have another matte shade and this is like your Barbie pink. And this is the shade Bizu, which, I mean, look at that. That is, I mean, the pinkest of the pink. And I mean, I would say on this one, this is probably the only matte shade where you would want to build it up a little bit, where it's like not completely opaque, but this is just with a second coat. You can see just builds up really, really nicely. And so it, and it, it has that same soft formula to it, which is just really, really nice. And then we get into the second duochrome shade, which is the Wee shade. And this guy is probably the standout of this palette. I would say it's even kind of close to a multi-chrome, depending on how the light catches it. Again, definitely sheer, but starts off with a like ye like limish yellowish green and then switches to kind of a peachy pink tone. And so you can see some of that greenish sparkle in there with like an orange base. And then as you come in close, you can see a little bit more of that pink switch on there. Definitely very, very sheer. But the third look that I created is this one and you can definitely see it is absolutely buildable to where you can get a really, really nice greenish glow on your eyes. And this one was only made using Wee and then the Noir shade to smoke it out again. And so really, really liked how easily you could build that shade up. And this was just with using my finger, nothing else was on there. And so if you use like a glitter glue or a glitter primer, I mean, it's gonna be even more impactful. But it does also make a beautiful topper. And for today's look, I am planning to use it on the inner corner. So we'll see if we can really get it packed in there and, and have that bright pop of color. So you guys can see that it definitely can really show up. Then we have C'est L'Amour, the namesake of the palette, and this is just a nice pink shade. I would say out of all of the shades in the palette, this is probably like my mm, like most meh kind of shade because all of the others are just such standouts. And I feel like this is just a very like normal pink shade, but again, really, really nice, very buildable, mixes and blends with the other shades really, really nicely. And so it definitely is a good shade also as like a transition between like some of your lighter pinks into the deeper reds. And so it is absolutely a necessary shade to have in the palette. But like for me personally, out of all of them, that was probably the shade where I was like, okay. <laughs> so then we get into the last two shades and the next one is probably one of my favorites as well. So next up is the Avant Garde Metallic shade. And this is just, 
like a dark chocolate metallic. It is so gorgeous. Layers beautifully with this guy, the Soiree shade. And those two were definitely shades that I layered in that second look along with Rouge and Passion. And so it, oh, it is such a beautiful shade and all of the metallics blend together really, really nicely too. And then the last shade we have is Noir, which is that really beautiful black shade. And I definitely can say that the black shades that Gourmand Girls comes out with are some of the best that I've seen. They are so pigmented, but they blend out really, really nicely. And so hands down, one of the best formulas for a really nice black matte shade. So that is the whole palette that we have here. You can see a whole lot of color variation, lots of things that you can do with it. And so we are gonna go ahead and get into that fourth look where I'm gonna combine a whole lot of reds and pinks and then we're gonna do um, probably we, yeah, in the inner corner. So let's jump right into that. All right, so we're gonna start off with Bizu, which is that really nice hot pink shade in the inner third of the eye. All right, so I can definitely say that of all of the matte shades that I've used, Bizu is the first one where I've had to go in and pack it in with my finger, where using just the brush itself was not really providing me with a lot of color payoff. And so that is definitely something of note, is that if you're really wanting that bright pink to show up, you're gonna have to use your finger on there. All right, next shade up that we're gonna use is Sela Moore, which is that nice transition pink shade. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. All right, so when I went in with Salem Moore, I felt like it was toning down the pink in the portions that I was blending it, so I just went back in with a little more Bizu on top, and I'm really liking how that's looking and combining. And so now we're gonna go into Rouge, for the outer third, and I'm very excited to see how that goes. <laughs> when I get caught up in this life, I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap. Only God wants you, better go live it up, cash in the back, stadium pack. All right, I am really, really liking how this is coming out. I think the three shades definitely go together really, really nicely. I am using a combination of the brush and my finger though to uh, to get the blend that I am wanting. And so that is kind of something of note that you might need to do as well is just kind of go back and forth a little bit. But it is a really nice look so far. I just went a little too heavy handed on my left eye as I always do. And so it just becomes this big blob on the outside of my eye. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna do the under eye before we go into the metallic. So for the under eye, I think I'm gonna stick just with Bizu and Rouge. And so we're just gonna go light Barbie pink into that deep red shade. Baby, I'm bad, yeah. baby, I'm bad. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that, stay back, I'll be swinging. All right, I think that is turning out really, really nice on there. Definitely think that the rouge shade is just so, so nice and pigmented. I mean, it is immediately in your face. So I think probably of the matte shades, the rouge, so the really nice red shade, and then the noir are your two most pigmented. I would say your best transition shade is gonna be soiree. And I think that Bizu, once it's built up on there, I love it, but I love a good Barbie pink, so. <laughs> but I think, yeah, the Salem Moore shade, I feel like is the only shade out of the in the entire palette where I'm really just kind of meh. Uh, but now we're gonna get into the metallics so you guys can really see how they go. I am going to leave Bizu without anything on there because I really want that nice bright pink to stand out. But then we're gonna go into Boudoir, which is that lovely hot pink for the center of the lid and then blend it into Passion, which is this really nice red metallic. So that is how that is gonna go. Not till the hits come in all caps. I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me. Ain't nobody like that. I ain't gonna wait that soft fact. All right, so now the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the wee shade for the inner corner. And we're gonna see how that layers with everything. Give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back. I'm sick of being cautious. I'ma go cause something can't stop this. I'm a 
All right, so I think that is it. So now we are going to tight line and throw on mascara and then I'll be back with the final look and come in close so you guys can see absolutely everything. All right, and we are back with the final look. So I'm gonna come in close so you guys can see everything. So I decided to go with just a fairly normal standard red-ish liner on my waterline, just so that I wouldn't deepen it up too much because I wanted to keep it nice and bright with the red tones. And so decided not to go with like a black or brown liner on this one. And I definitely will say that if you were wanting the most impact, with the metallics, I would recommend using a setting spray. So I went back in and used the Fix Plus to uh, reapply Passion and Boudoir and really got what I was looking for on there. So I would definitely recommend using that instead of just a finger or just a brush. I would use some setting spray with it or a glitter primer and you were gonna get a really, really nice look out of it. And with the Wee shade, I actually didn't have to use any of that to get this nice little bit of glow on the inner corner. Uh, the best brush that I found for it is one of those really tiny, like little packing brushes that are very much like a detailed brush. I just used that on there and then packed it in and it worked out beautifully. But that is what I have come up with. I would love to know what you guys think. What do you think of the swatches? What do you think of the four looks that I came up with? I really, really like the inclusion of the two duochromes in this palette. I think that's kind of what sets it apart from all of the other Valentine's Day palettes, just because you really do have a lot of versatility on there with that mix of all of those shades. And so I really, really enjoy it. I would love to know what you guys think though. Have any of you picked it up yet? I know that the release was two days ago. I'm a little behind, but I really wanted to give you guys the best possible video and from my hotel room, it was just not that. And so <laughs> Christina was nice enough to let me post a couple days late so I can make sure that you guys are able to see everything as clearly as possible. So that is that. Sorry, I'm a couple days late, but I would love to know what you guys think of everything and give me a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you did not. Let me know as we always do on here. And if you made it to the end of the video and you have not yet subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe. Come join my family here on YouTube. We talk a ton about indie brands, do really colorful makeups, watch everything. And if that sounds like fun, I would love it if you would join me and the rest of my community here on YouTube. But other than that, you guys just go have a good one.